Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play um, The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time with me, Rock Paper Mario. Um, in the last part we got started on a relaxing stroll through the Spirit Temple because I'm really chill today for some reason. Um, I'm just really relaxed rather than being kind of manic or anything like that. But I think that's kind of like, so like the Spirit Temple, the music and everything like that is really kind of easy going and, and, and it kind of it kind of lends itself to a more chilled out, relaxing stroll. So it's not really that hectic. There aren't a lot of, there's not a lot of big battling or anything like there is in the Shadow Temple. It's just kind of like, oh, um, there's there's kind of just puzzly bits and wanders around in these nice kind of cool chambers. Like, oh, because we must be like underground or something. Well, we're in, in no, we're not. We're actually above ground because we're in like going into the surface of the mountain aren't we um but still like we're inside we're inside the cool rocks we're like inside the cool rocks of uh of the of the grudo valley or the whatever it's called the haunted wasteland the desert colossus that's what it's called um and like so uh, like it stands to reason that you just kind of be you'd be you this is the kind of place you take your time in isn't it because you wouldn't like because there's puzzles to do and you don't want to get hit by things like those like spinning blades and things like that. Um, and it's just like a nice relaxing temple. Not like all hectic like the shadow temple. Fuck's sake. Like the shadow temple you can't even, you can't relax for one second because there's always something trying to kill you. Or something that's invisible. Or some like monster or some wall master or some shit like that at least in the spirit temple you don't have to worry about that that stuff even like the enemies that there are here like the enemies that are there in the spirit temple they're all like th this crap like oh um those those ghost things or those mummy things that don't even move like they, they don't really even move they seriously don't or like keys that just kind of like flisher around the place and stuff like that like not even anything that particularly particularly harmful or aggressive, you know, or Beemos that just kind of stay in the one spot. There's like, other than that, the only enemies are, are like Armo statues and they just stay where they are as well. The only other enemies in the whole temple are like that one Stalfos and like the Iron Knuckles and they're just in their own rooms, minding their own business, you know, that kind of way. It's like, whatever. The, the Spirit Temple is like a pretty chilled out kind of place. It's, it's kind of more cerebral, I suppose, than the, the Shadow Temple, because the Shadow Temple is pretty much just all about kicking ass and taking names, just that kind of way. Um, and, and making the invisible visible. But yeah, I'm kind of just relaxed anyway, it's the first day of my weekend. I'd like a nice, like, relaxing weekend at work as well. Oh, I hear a skull tulla. There you are, there's no hiding from me. You're scared of the claw. You're scared. I, I, I have to stop saying that. That is like the most annoying thing I ever decided to start saying regularly is you're scared of the claw. Well, like every time you see something that has like a claw or like, no, that wasn't even the case this time. This time it was just me with a boomerang. There was not no claw involved whatsoever. It was just me. So I don't know what the hell I'm saying that to the spider. You're scared of the claw. There was no claw involved in the equation. Look at him there. Sitting. Sitting on the toilet? <laughs> Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> oh. He's actually quite slow at the moment. All you have to do is like... I'll try and like... I'm gonna get them. Uh. <laughs> what kind of noise was that? That sounded like that Winnie the Pooh baby. No, that trick doesn't work this time. That trick only works when he like gets like fast because he's kind of like the ones in um Twilight. Well, I suppose the ones in Wind Waker are like that as well. Like there's like a point where you like knock off his armor and he gets faster. But the ones in Wind Waker don't really get faster, do they? They just like start doing karate. Well, I suppose they are able to like run around more. But like the Dark Nuts in Wind Waker are just everywhere anyway. Like there's there's seriously every I'm gonna try and do this. Okay, no, that didn't work that time. But if that pillar could stay out of my way. 
There's another one. Jackass pit. The, the architecture is cramping my style. <laughs> Not as much as I just cramped his style. Like, that was a massacre. <laughs> Seriously. Like the, 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 like the, the Dark Nooks and Wind. Dark Nooks. My name's Knuckles. I'm the rapper's agent. Like the, the, the Dark Nuts in Wind Waker are everywhere. Whereas like in this game they're kind of like something special. Oh my oh my god, it's nighttime. This is gonna be so cool. Oh, it's like Maximilian Pega Owl for like the first time. For the first time in forever. Ooh. What's up, Harry boy? Surprised to see me. Woohoo! A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Woohoo! Even I thought that the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. Harry, you have fully matured as an adult. Woohoo! From now on, the future of all the people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore, but here's my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. Woohoohoohoohoo! Do you want to hear what I said again, Harry boy? No, I would not. I will continue to watch over you. Woohoohoohoohoohoohoohoo! This is gonna be so cool that it's like nighttime when this scene is taking place. Because it's going to look even more dastardly. Um. Not to spoil what's coming up, but that's the thing about this game. I don't even have to worry about spoilers. The dogs on the street know about this game and what happens, you know. And you found the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms. The power to lift big things with hey, you get Hulkamania. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid. Plus, you promised to give them to Naburu. You should keep your word. Always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. I've had it up to here with this turbo man. <laughs> Meet this turbo man. The, the, the night time is going to make this even better. Hey, where are you taking me? I don't know why, like, Naburu is, like, sassy, but... Yeah! Let me go! I just don't know what kind of voice to give Naburu. She is kind of, like, black. She's like... And she's got that, like, um... What's this? You! You fiends! Ganondorf's minions! Apparently Naburu just has my normal voice. With her Madonna haircut. That's what she's like. Madonna? Harry! Get out of here! No! It's like the Sarlacc pit. These witches! They're using black magic on me! And it's called black magic. <laughs> Isn't like the Marion Finucane show on ra Radio 1, doesn't, like, isn't the theme tune to that, doesn't it sound exactly like that song? Like that, the Marion Finucane theme tune, like when she's on the radio, it's like, da 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 And so it's exactly like that song, it's ridiculous. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. That's kind of pretty perfect, the way this is, like, turning out here. We'll watch this tobacco sunrise over the mesa. While the sun, while the sand just, like, whips around. I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. Is this like, just going to be the video of annoying songs? Is that what this is going to be? So yeah, pretty much, we're, we're done with the first half of the spirit temple now. That heart piece, that's something we'll have to go and get when we're an adult. How, how many heart pieces do we have at the moment? Oh, well, that works out perfectly so, because I'll just get that one when, when I come back here. Um, so yeah, wait a second, I suppose what I want to do is do the Song of Time, don't I? Or not the Song of Time, the Prelude of Light, um, which is... It's so chirpy. La 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> it sounds like um, la 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 la. <laughs> you want that like woman in that boat in in? I think it's like the boat when you're going to kill a guy. It is, isn't it? In in Final Fantasy X, where um. That woman, you can just talk to her over and over again, and she's just like, la, 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 and she, and she has, like, this weird waver on her last, on the last tone that she sings. It's like, la, 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 
the amount of just funny things in that game in Final Fantasy X is ridiculous. Like, there's just like, it, it's almost like Final Fantasy VI in that regard. The way Final Fantasy VI has loads of those kind of like funny little translations and things like that that are just kind of ridiculous and are like, what were they thinking? Final Fantasy X is almost exactly like that as regards like the scripting and the voice acting and everything. It's so funny. Um, so now you can see we're already wearing the silver gauntlets. We're getting our last story. Um, it's like the last story all up in here with the, 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 the costume changes. Um, what do I want to play? No, that's not it. It's like... I quite like the, the Requiem of Spirit. It's like a really just kind of somber kind of a tune. It's just really cool. Yes, I would like to walk to the Desert Colossus. Oh god, so let's like, wait a second, there's like a couple of things we can get done here, aren't there? Yeah, there's like that boulder. The boulder is going to bury you in a rock -alange. I'm pretty, we can pretty much like lift them up and throw them around the place like nobody's business now that we have the silver gauntlet. But what I'm more interested in is this leaf. <laughs> May I offer you this leaf? May I offer you something to eat? S -s -s something to eat? I offer you tea and something to eat. Come in, come in, what a pleasant surprise. Come in, my little friend. Come in, come in, I offer you tea. How thoughtful of me to offer you tea, 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 tea. Um, excuse me, Gwei. I would, <laughs> now that's overkill, just using the big Goron sword to kill that stupid thing. make it all night time here because there is a skull tully here isn't there as far as i know he's either on this one or the other one he should like just like materialize out the ground here there we are and for once i didn't didn't like, get killed by him there's still time how embarrassing is <sighs> how embarrassing is this i'm going to use a bomb chew to kill this stupid thing <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> How bizarre. Yeah, we got a gold skull tulla. Now isn't I'm I'm pretty sure there is like a gold skull tulla up in like one of these palm trees, isn't there? Or like up there, there's a coconut. He got hit in the head with two coconuts. Might as well have like a little wander around. We have like a two minutes to like two minutes to use up on the video. Cause I'm like I'm trying to, like, I know since I've got back, I've been making all these videos, like, 20 minutes and 25 minutes and things like that. And I know myself, when I watch videos, it, like, you only have so much time, do you know that kind of way, like... You don't always have the time to... Watch all these YouTube videos that are, like, a half hour long. He's on up there, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. There's the dented beetle! Look, Meryl, same road, no cars. Where did they all go? Okay, don't, excuse me, leavers. I do not need you right now getting all up my grill. There's not even any point in killing this stupid thing because they just come back anyway. Or by the time you get out of there, they're not going to be there anyway, so pff, who cares? We got that one just in time as well, because otherwise it would have disappeared again right in front of my eyes. Look, Meryl, same tree, no Skulltula. Where did it go? <laughs> got my posse here. He's a green thing. I remember, like, because I remember the first time I played this game, it was on, like, someone else's N64. And, like, the... Um, it was on someone else's N64. And the, um, like, obviously, he had, like, a file where he had practically finished the game, or where he had finished the game. He was, like, up until, like, the end, like, the last save point. So I remember, like, the first time I played this game, I actually had everything. Like, I, like, the first time I played this game was on a file where you had everything. You had, like, the hover boots, and you had the, um, you had the hover boots, and you had the, um, and you had, like, all the songs and everything. 
I don't remember like playing that file and like warping here to the Desert Colossus and just being so completely overwhelmed because when you warp here, you just get like swarmed by a load of levers out of nowhere. And I was like, what's going on? You can't like, because all the other places you warp to, you know, like you warp to, um, you warp to Thingy Bob to um, Lake Hylia or to the Forest Meadow or whatever, or any of those places. And it's like really relaxing. There are no enemies. They're just it's just kind of like a relaxing place where nothing bad happens. And then you warp to the fecking desert colossus and you're just getting attacked all over the place. It's crazy. So yeah, we're we're starting um the adult portion of the spirit temple in the next video with full hearts, full magic, um, and a fresh heart container, fresh off the, fresh from the manure fields, your sportiness. And um and 95 skull tullers and only four more pieces of heart to get it's crazy like look, look like these five skull tullers two of them are going to be in here in this dungeon and then there's like the tree the last three are all in like zora's domain aren't they so yeah we're 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 getting up there so um yeah i will save why not thanks a million for watching this part of let's play the legend of zelda ocarina of time the next part um next part capitalism ho into the spirit temple bye